Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay. So our first song we're going to start off with, hopefully the screens will um, get working soon. But um, we'll start with 248, Oh How I Love Jesus. Sinners perfectly. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. It tells of one whose loving heart can feel my deepest woe. Who in each song that none can bear below. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me. All righty. Our um, second song is going to be 290, Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. So are you weary and troubled? No light in the darkness you see. There's light for a look at the Savior, and life more abundant and free. Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will go strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Through death into life ever. Jesus, the 
So our next song is going to be 184, Jesus Paid It All. <laughs> I hear the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small, child of weakness, watch and pray, find in me my all in all. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin hath left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow the ladies Lord, now indeed i find thy power and thine O lord can chase thy leper spots and melt the heart of stone jesus paid it all The gentleman. Since nothing good have I, whereby thy grace to claim, I'll wash my garments white in the blood of Calvary's lamb. Everyone. Jesus paid it all, all to him I So our opening hymn is going to be 620 on Jordan Stormy Banks, and I believe it's going to be the canvassing version. <coughs> Jordan stormy banks I stand and cast a wishful lie, cast a wishful lie to Canaan's fair and happy land where my possessions lie, my possessions lie, I am bound for the promised land. Extended place shines one eternal day, one eternal day. There Christ the Son forever reigns and scatters night away, scatters night away. I am bound for the promised land.
shall I reach the happy place and be forever blessed. Be forever blessed. When shall I see my Father's face and in his kingdom rest? In his kingdom rest. I am bound for the promised land. I am bound for the promised land. Oh, who will come, come and go with me. I am bound for the promised land. Filled with delight, my raptured soul would here no longer stay. Here no longer stay. No Jordan's waves around me roll, fearless I march away. Fearless I march away. I am bound for the promised land. Thank you all for singing. Good morning, happy Sabbath, everybody. Yeah. Welcome to our Sabbath school. Um, I'm just gonna have an opening prayer for us all, if you'd bow your heads with me. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that we can come here to worship on this Sabbath day. Thank you so much um, that you've brought our class this far and that we are able to graduate tomorrow. Um, God, be with every single person here. Bless them in a special way today. Um, Give them strength, hope, and peace, and all of your love. Amen. Okay, and just some quick announcements. Um, restrooms are right over there in the Academy Center, if you go inside. Um, parking over here is for the graduates and their families. There are shuttles running back and forth um, from over there. So if you ever need to get to the other side, there's a shuttle. Okay. Hello? Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, happy Sabbath. Um, so we're gonna, oh wait, is the piano working? Is it on? Okay, but uh, we're gonna be doing a special music for you this morning. Uh, for Bible class this year, we had to all do a project and we could either do a Bible study or a song and so we chose to do a song. So we wrote a song based off of Psalms 51 verse 10, which has created me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. So Mrs. Nelson heard us singing it, and so she put us on the, what, menu? Not menu, what is it? <laughs> the, the, what do you call that? The program? Schedule. Program. So here we are, wow. and I hope you get a blessing from it, but not the menu, but thank you. <laughs> Wait, do you want to move? In the beginning, God created earth and made man from the dark dirt. From these first pants was human's birth, and from their sin were in. 
this world of hurt. Create in me a new heart, O oh God, and rid the sin and the guilt within. And I will serve you to the very end. So create in me a new heart, O oh God. But God had a plan for you and I. And for our filthy sins, my Savior died, that we might live and have eternal life. He has bigger plans in this world of strife. Create in me a new heart, O oh God, and rid the sin and the fears within. Since we're created to be like God, we must love others like he loves us. Satan will try to gain your heart with fraud, but stay true to the Lord and in him trust. Create in me a new heart, O oh God, and rid the sin and the guilt within. And I the very end so create in me a new heart oh god so create in me a new heart oh god Good morning and a happy Sabbath. These kids uh, bring tears to my eyes, tears of joy that is. And uh, <clears throat> it's the time when uh, the staff will say words of appreciation and uh, words of encouragement to each student, actually each graduate. <laughs> He's graduate this morning, and it's our privilege, <clears throat> it was our privilege to be with you throughout the year, and it is our privilege today to celebrate with you. So, uh, Jesse, you're on my list. There you are. Jesse, though you're not related to Obed, or not David, you write beautiful songs. And uh, your creative spirit is a gift from God. A humble, yet very talented young man that you are. <coughs> Keep creating, because in the beginning, God created. Another gentleman on my list is um, Aiden. Aiden Lee. Aiden, good morning, Aiden. It was, uh, could you please stand so everybody knows who Aiden is? <laughs> <laughs> There's Aiden, <laughs> a very humble man with uh, extraordinary memory. Not a single memory verse in his Bible class had uh, a comma or a word missing, which is very unusual. <laughs> um, very proud of you, Aiden. God gave you amazing memory an ability to work with words. You can remember things, Aiden can remember things that um, he studied maybe a year ago, he can reproduce them today. That's how good his memory is. Aiden, God gave you that talent. He gave you a beautiful smile, a cheerful attitude. Even when um, I, I give you too many things to grade and uh, Mr. Dean give you a pile of papers to grade, you can handle them in 15 minutes, which is probably two hours worth of work. I don't know how you do that, but he knows words. Aiden, remember the most important word. Remember what John said as he begins his gospel. In the beginning, there was a word, and the word was with God. May God bless each one of you, and um, as we sit down and relax, we are going to think of the contributions 
that you will make and do in your life for the Lord. God bless you. Where's Amanda? Oh, yeah, there you are. <laughs> Amanda, I am so grateful that you were in my family group this year. And I just want to share a couple things I really appreciate about you. And one of the things, the first thing I really appreciate is your creativity. And that's something I share in common with you. I'd love to be creative, and I find Amanda to be a very creative person as well, not only artsy, but she's very creative with coming up with fun activities and planning different fun events, and I really appreciate that. She came up with some great ideas for family group. I also appreciate your personality. You can be quiet at times, but you can also be very bubbly and fun and happy and cheerful. And I appreciate that you try to be positive, even when you might be doing something you don't necessarily enjoy doing or want to do. And that's a very good characteristic to take with you in life. I want to share a couple of memories I have with you. I have a video on my phone of you and Chantel rolling down a hill <laughs> during TCI. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the first um, events we were together, and I remember thinking, we are going to have a fun year. <laughs> and with you and Chantel, there was never a dull moment. <laughs> I also remember the fun day we went up in the snow, and it was kind of all of us girls. We were just sitting there talking. And I remember you said one thing in particular, and it was, I really appreciate when staff are open and honest. And I remember you saying that, and after that, I tried to be more open and honest with the students, just to be more who I was, so they could get to know me more who before I am. And I appreciate that you, you said that. And I have some advice for you. You're beginning a new chapter in life. You're moving on in your journey. And before you, you could say the world is ahead of you. Life is ahead of you. But above all, I want you to remember, time is short. Bathe everything you do with the knowledge that even though we talk and we believe that the second coming is very near, there's millions of people who've never heard of his first coming. And so take that with you. And so dream big. Do great things. Be creative for God. Use your personality for God. But above all, one of my favorite quotes is, attempt great things for God and expect great things from God. And I want to leave with you my favorite Bible verse. It's Isaiah 41 verse 10. And I've taken this verse with me in many trying situations, and maybe you'll find it helpful for you. It says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So take that with you. Dream big, go with God. All right, we have the privilege of appreciating a young lady. Audrey, there you are. Audrey, um, it's very evident that God has given you a lot of talents and abilities. Um, very creative in your drawing abilities. I know in my life I tried, I, was, I mastered stick figures, but I just saw just the portraits and all the different things that I know you've shared and different things you've been able to do. Um, has been a blessing. You also were blessed with a, a business mind, uh, a business mind. I know she came up to me, Mr. Gutierrez, starting a, a business here on campus. Do you have, and uh, so I said, hey, I have a cooler. Do you need a cooler? So she borrowed the cooler throughout the year. She took good care of it. And she actually brought it back, which is good practice. So God bless you uh, for that. Uh, I did it with the intent of knowing that when you let people borrow things, sometimes they don't come back in good working order, but she did. So thank you for that. Um, with, her, with her business, she had different, different food products, and uh, she thought about others, and hey, if it's hot outside, I've got a cold beverage. Um, she's, you know, if you need a nice little treat with your meal, she had that as well. 
So uh, I just want to encourage you, Lord, uh, I want to encourage you, Andre, that as you see how God is led, I want to encourage you to put him first in your life, to be first in if you have a business in the future, which for some reason I feel like that's what's going to happen, um, that you would put him first, that you wouldn't hide your Christianity, but that you would be all in for him and that you would pray for opportunities to share Jesus in the workplace, to witness and to be a blessing uh, for eternity. Um, secondly, we have a really long one for Audrey, I guess. Um, I just want to mention that, Audrey, you are a caring friend. Um, if someone's in need, you're there to comfort them. And when you feel like things aren't fair, you're there to stand up for them. You have a very, you have a thoughtful and determined spirit. And you're someone who desires to stick by your friend's side through thick and thin. Audrey, you're also a leader. And that is a talent that God has blessed you with. I just want to encourage you to stand for the truth. Uh, your friends, they look to you for sound advice, and they really do. They look up to you. And I just want to encourage you to point them to Jesus, because you can be a really big influence for him. Look to him as your guide. And as you make new friends in this new, uh, exciting phase of life, um, I just pray that you will point each of your friends to Jesus and use that power of influence that you have for him. And as you do that, you're going to experience beautiful blessings that he has for you. The third thing they wanted to share is that uh, something I really appreciate about you, Audrey, is that you enjoy laughing and having fun. You enjoy, I heard, I mean, the walls are kind of thin. I, I heard your laughter. I heard lots of things throughout the year, always uh, having, a, having a good time, always cracking up. And uh, I appreciate that about you. You have... Uh, you're able to keep things light. I know sometimes there's a lot of crazy things that happen in life, but if you can learn to have a sense of humor and learn to continue that, um, it'll, it'll help you a lot. Um, wanted to encourage you to, to seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness, to continue to smile, continue to laugh and enjoy life. Continue having devotions and sharing them with your friends and your family. And remember that in life, I know from previous experience that life is not about where you live, how big your house is, how much money you make, because this world is not our home. And I wanted to always have that be a constant reminder to you. We're just passing through. We have something so much more beautiful waiting for us in heaven and the new earth. For now, I just want to encourage you to focus on your faithfulness in the little things and the great things. He will reward you for eternity and loves you dearly. I want to see you in heaven. So keep us in prayer. And we want to keep you in prayer as well. And just as we close, I wanted to share a verse that I actually read this morning in my devotions. Um, in Luke 16, 10, it says, He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. Um, and Audrey, as you step out in this new journey of life, I just want to encourage you to be faithful. Be faithful in the littlest things. And as you do that, God may give you just greater and greater opportunities to prove him right and to serve him and to do really big things for him. I was lucky enough to get two. <laughs> so here we go. <coughs> Charlo. It's been a privilege to be your teacher this year. You were one of the faithful few who stuck it out through pre-calculus. And I really enjoyed seeing you learn and grow in that class. Uh, I know you learned a lot. And uh, it wasn't always easy, but you stuck with it and, and you did well. So, and I'm proud of you for that. I've also seen you as a leader in the student body. Even, even before you had to accept the call to, to be class president, you were uh, one of the leaders. And uh, I see in you um, that you've shown maturity in the, way you, in the way you conduct yourself, and that <clears throat> you know how to have fun, and also when to be serious. And both of those are important. Also, you're a brilliant pianist. Though I'm sure you know that already. <laughs> Shalou, as I think of you continuing your, your education and eventual career, I'm reminded of Paul's counsel to Timothy, 
And he said, remember the things that you have learned and of whom you have learned them, and that from a child you have known the Holy Scriptures. You've, uh, you've been blessed with a solid upbringing. And wherever your life takes you, I would just say to you, don't, don't forget where you came from. Remember the values your parents have instilled in you and the lessons you've learned here at Academy. Stay close to God and stay frosty. <laughs> Jessica, thank you for your work as my grader this year. I know the year hasn't been easy for you, but you've pushed through in spite of the challenges. I remember so many days when you were having a rough time, but you would still come to my office and ask, is there anything else I can do for you? Um, and uh, you've been a faithful and persistent worker. Um, but even outside of work, I've enjoyed the opportunities that we've had to talk about life and your goals for the future. Uh, you have some pretty ambitious dreams for the future. Um, and don't, don't let anything keep you or dissuade you from pursuing those. Um, I know you, you'll find challenges that maybe you didn't expect, but I also know you have the determination to push through. Uh, Proverbs 16.3 tells us to commit our works to the Lord and our thoughts or plans will be established. So keep committing yourself to him and letting him establish your thoughts. I look forward to seeing what he accomplishes through your faithful service. Testing. Leo. Leo, where are you? Hey, stand up, Leo. <laughs> Leo, I am so proud of the fine man that you are becoming. You mentioned your family last night and how they worked so hard to make sacrifices that you could be here, and that is true. And it takes a mature mind to recognize that. I have seen you grow this year in many ways in the area of sportsmanship. I have observed you a number of times on this very field when it was wet and it was raining and we were slipping and sliding as we played football, the tackle form. I saw you congratulate and give pats on the back instead of allowing a competitive spirit to control you. You have a very strong will which will take you far if the will is aligned with God. You are, a lot, you are a lot of fun to be around, and I want you to keep this youthful joy throughout your life. Never grow out of it. So when your kids will have a young father, no matter how old you are. <laughs> this year you've had some challenges, but you stayed strong and determined to finish the year well, and you did it. And Leo, hey, nice shoes. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing how God is going to use your multiple talents in the coming years. And I really appreciate your scripture. It's one of my favorites, Romans 8, 28. All things work together for good to those that love God and are called according to his purpose. Thank you, Leo. Eric. Stand up, Eric. Are you ready, Eric? You sure? It has been a great year getting to know you, Eric, with your endless energy and zest for life. You make everything brighter when you are around. Whenever you're around, you have a special way to bring a smile to everyone. For instance, last year at Teaching Awesomeness Day, <laughs> as I was standing in front of this very pulpit in the AC, and when I said it was Teaching Awesomeness Day, you stood up in the front row and dropped your pants to your ankles. <laughs> We, will, we were very thankful that you had shorts on. <laughs> I hope that you will be able to realize the dream you mentioned in the program about getting a job at AAA. <laughs> I had no idea you had such a passion for that company. I also hear they have great benefits. Eric, God has given you 
gifts that you can use in ministry. As you've mentioned, you want to go into pastoral. A caring heart, an unselfish spirit, a great sense of humor, and a resiliency when bad things happen, you are able to move on with a positive attitude. Eric, God has great plans for you, and I look forward to seeing what he has in store for you. Eric, when I think of you, I only think of one word. That's only one word comes to mind. And that word is thrilling. <laughs> Eric, I look forward to seeing you here next year. But also, I want you to live that abundant life in Christ. God bless. Heidi, I was not only privileged to be your teacher and boss today, uh, this year, but in the past I was your coworker and fellow student. <sighs> There's not enough time for me to fit in everything I love about you in this little short speech, but I hope you know that you have become like a sister to me this year. I know you call me boss. <laughs> oh. But you're the one who puts in late hours practicing piano for literally every song. <laughs> I honestly don't know how you do it. Your perseverance in everything is incredibly inspiring. And you have such a kind and caring heart, and you're always willing to sacrifice your time for others. We've had a lot of good memories, eating Cool Whip and icing with Miss Abby and Alexis, sitting under that tree with Sarah and Familia Felice and being super dramatic, <laughs> hiking up to the top of that mountain in La Paz, and you had to wait for me because I was dying from altitude sickness, <laughs> but then seeing the view from the top and being glad it was worth the misery. I remember when uh, I first started working here, and you, JC, and I hung out at the Christmas party, and we played that weird candy cane game that we didn't even understand with our eyes closed. <laughs> I knew that we were, from then, we were going to be a great team. God has incredible plans for your t future. I know it. Follow him, and he will lead you to true happiness. All right, Soren. <laughs> I stayed up until 3 a.m. writing this, so be prepared. <laughs> I only remember, <clears throat> and also be prepared if I cry. I only remember two things from the day that you were born. I remember going to the park with grandma and being bit by an angry goose, and then <laughs> immediately going to the hospital and getting to hold you for the first time and being absolutely amazed. On, and no, I did not drop you on your head as a baby. <laughs> but having me as an older sister was probably bad enough. I'm sorry for every time I was mean to you when we were little, which was a lot. You've seen me at my best and my worst, and you know me better than anyone else. I'm going to try to stop crying. <laughs> I trust you with my life. <laughs> I miss going to Lego conventions with you and setting up our little booth, even though we didn't have any super amazing builds. I was more than happy to be sitting next to the coolest Lego builder I know. <laughs> I remember taking all of our toys out and stuffing them in the tire swing and then swinging it really hard to see how far we could fling them. <laughs> and then immediately regretting it because they all got scratched up on the concrete. <laughs> I remember playing market in the closets in our old house and you always won because you would never buy anything from my store. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I think this one's used. <laughs> oh. Okay, where was I? Um, I miss staying up until 2 a.m. every night, making shadow puppet plays with each other and making up crazy stories until one of us fell asleep. I could go on, but I'm sure you already know there isn't enough time to tell you how much you mean to me. You've always been my best friend, and I will do anything to protect you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm incredibly proud of you. You inspired me a better person to have a stronger relationship with God. Keep him number one in your life, and you'll always be fulfilled. <laughs> Let's build some Legos when we get home.
Isaac. <laughs> Isaac, I have had many enjoyable interactions with you and your family. I remember when we went to the 2017 fall camp out and you were playing basketball with, no basketball, volleyball with your friends. And you were very good, and I wasn't. And so you were very patient, and you shared with me a few tips so I can play volleyball better. And we also spent time together in the Arizona mission trip. And I remember how we were preparing for a pantomime skit. And as you know, the clarity of the message depends on the quality of the facial expressions and the gestures and all of that. And you delivered your part very well. And I appreciated that. And I am sure the audience did too. And you did not have to make a big show to impact people significantly. And then we went to the Kenyan mission trip. You and your family and I did the safari together and I saw how much you love nature, which is one of God's great lesson book. Keep your heart and mind sensitive to his voice. I want to encourage you to continue to develop your talents and to try untested waters. There are new oceans to sail, step out in faith, and experience God in a new way. There's so much freedom when we let go of fear and when we let God's peace and assurance come into our lives. And I know you will go far. Um, I'm looking forward to see what God has in store for you. God bless. Rachel Cooper, can you stand up, please? <laughs> or Rach, which you allowed me to call you. First of all, I want to thank you. I want you to stay standing, please. <laughs> this is for you. Um, I want to thank you for your friendship. I really do. And I also want to appreciate your family. They've been great, um, especially for the opportunity to pray with you. With both of you, I've had the opportunity. And I am very grateful for that. Um, I also want to thank you for your kindness um, and for your simplicity. You're a great girl, and I know several times you came to the dorm and you were trying to work on homework, and I was trying to talk to you at the same time. And sorry for um, sometimes not allowing you to do your homework. But I really appreciate who you are and um, just how faithful you are in the small things and how you really want to see God when you're making decisions for your life. I, th I thank you for committing to doing uh, hard things, even though sometimes it's getting out of your comfort zone. And I do want, your re I do want to remind you something that you wrote on your um, editor's note. You said, don't be afraid to stand outside your comfort zone, because each time you do, it's worth it. And I want to remind you that, because in this phase, new phase in your life, you will encounter a lot of uncomfort. Um, uncomfort. But I want you to stay faithful and remember that he who began a good work in you will finish it until the day of Jesus Christ. And I also want you to know that I, I'm here and I am a call away. Also, I want to uh, remind you that, um, that he is faithful and he will remain faithful. And do not forget that when things get hard. And you chose this verse, and I want you to remember it forever. Now, therefore, go, and I will be with you, uh, with, your, with your mouth, and teach you what you should say. Blessings, Rachel, and this new journey. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your life. Samuel David Mosier, please stand up. No, that's okay, you're tall enough already. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam, I'm glad you stuck it out. There were many things to overcome this year, whether it's physics or dorm life.
Let us bow our heads for a closing word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the beautiful weather. We thank you for the opportunity to worship under this tent today. I pray that everything is said and done will glorify you, that these students, that their, their growth is all because of you, Lord. And may you go with them forth from this day forward, Lord, and be with us as we worship in the divine hour coming up. And send your Holy Spirit to be with each one of us, we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Just a couple quick announcements. We're going to start a little bit later. We're going to start at 11.15, so you have 14 minutes to go to the AC and find restrooms there, find some water. Uh, so if you need to take up, stand up, stretch your legs, and uh, just we'll start back here at 11.15. Okay? Happy Sabbath, everyone.